Title Simultaneous Equations and we are going to be looking at how to solve simultaneous equations when the coefficients are not the same. Right, now to solve these pair of simultaneous equations I'm going to use the elimination method again. Okay, I'm going to either eliminate my x's or I'm going to eliminate the y's to solve this simultaneous equation. Now, in order to use the elimination method, I need to have the coefficients of either the x is the same or the y is the same. So I need the number in front of the x is the same or the number in front of the y is the same. Now, as you can see with these two equations, the number in front of the x is isn't the same and the number in front of the y is isn't the same. So I can't eliminate either of them until I have the same coefficient in front of them. Okay, so my first step is I need to get the coefficients of either the x's or the y's the same. So to do this, I am going to label my equations first. Okay, so I've got equation 1 and I've got equation 2. Now, if I wanted to make my x's the same, I would multiply this whole equation by 2 because then I would be left with 4x here and I'd have 4x here. Okay, so then I'd be able to eliminate the x's. If I wanted to get the coefficients of the y's the same, I would multiply this equation by 3 because then I would have 3y here and I would have 3y there. Now, it don't matter which <coughs> coefficient you try to make the same, as long as you multiply the whole equation by that amount. Okay, for the purpose of this example, I am going to make the coefficients of the x's the same. Okay, now to do this, I'm going to write out my new equation. Okay, because I'm going to be multiplying my first equation by 2 to get the coefficient of x to 4. Okay, so 2x times 2 would give me 4x. 3y times 2 would give me plus 6y. And then 9 times 2 would give me 18. I will then copy out my second equation so it's back underneath again. So equation 2 would be underneath. So 4x plus y equals 13. I now have the same coefficients for my x's. I can now look at the stop rule and identify how I am going to solve for one of these values. Okay? If the signs are the same, I take away. If they are opposite, I plus. Now you need to remember, this 4x is a positive 4x. Okay, so the signs are the same. Therefore, I am going to take away. Okay, so it'll be 4x take away 4x, plus 6y take away plus y, and then 18 take away 13. 4x take away 4x is 0. We've eliminated the x's. That's why we made the coefficients of the x's the same. Okay, to eliminate them, those have been eliminated. 6y, so plus 6y take away plus y leaves me with 5y. And then 18 take away 13 is 5. I then divide both sides by 5 to get y on its own. I get y equals 1. I've now worked out the value for 1 of the 2 that I need to get my value for. I've got my y's. I need to now work out the value of x. So I'm going to substitute back into one of these equations. Okay? I'm going to substitute back into equation number 2 because the y value is on its own and it looks easier. Okay? So write the equation out again. 4x plus y equals... 13. I know this y value here is 1. I've just worked that out. So I will then have 4x plus 1 equals 13. And then I will solve it like a normal two step equation. Take one of both sides. 4x equals 12. Divide both sides by 4. x equals 3. Okay. To double check that I have done all these steps correctly, I will substitute both values back into equation 1. Okay, so I'll write the equation out again. I've got 2x plus 3y equals 9. I know that x is 
3, I've just worked that out, and I know that y is 1. Okay, so x is 3, therefore this will be 2x, so 2 times 3, therefore 6. Uh, this will be add 3 times 1, so because y is 1, so 3 times 1 is 3. 6 add 3, does it equal 9? Yes, it does, therefore our values are correct. I want you to copy this example out before you move on to the next example. Okay, now to solve these pair of simultaneous equations, I'm going to be using the elimination method again. Now to use the elimination method, I need the same coefficient in front of either my x's or my y's. Again, this question, the coefficients are different. So I'm going to get my coefficients the same for either the x or the y first before I eliminate one of them. Okay, so I will label my equations again, 1 and 2. And then I decide whether I want to make the coefficients of the x's the same or whether I want to make the coefficients of the y's the same. Okay, I'm going to choose to make the coefficients of the y's the same. Okay, so... I am going to copy out equation 1 again because that one's at the top. So x minus 2y equals minus 4. And then equation 2, I am going to times it by 2 because I'm trying to get the coefficients of the y's the same. Okay, so I need to times this one by 2 to get 2y. But I need to times the whole equation by 2. So 3x times 2 is 6x. Plus y times 2 is plus 2y. And then 9 times 2 is 18. Okay, I now have got the same coefficients for the y's. I now look at my stop rule to determine how I'm going to eliminate it. Okay, the signs are opposite, we plus. Now I've got a subtract 2y and I've got a plus 2y. So the signs are opposite, therefore I'm going to plus these two. Okay. So I'm going to add my x's, add my y's, and then add the totals for each equation. So x add 6x is 7x. Minus 2y add plus 2y is 0. We've eliminated our y's. And then minus 4 add 18 is 14. Okay, now to get x on its own, I need to divide both sides by 7. And I get x equals 2. Okay, I've now worked out half the question. I still need to work out the value of y. So I'm going to substitute back into equation 2. Okay, so I'll copy the equation out again. 3x plus y equals 9. I know that x is 2 because I just worked it out. Okay, so 3 times 2 is 6 plus y equals 9. Take 6 off both sides. Okay, I end up with y equals 3. I have now used the elimination method to solve and work out the values of x and y. Okay, I've got x equals 2 and y equals 3. I'm now going to substitute both these values back into equation 1 to see if they work. Okay, so equation 1 is x minus 2y equals minus 4. Okay, I know that x is 2 and I know that y is 3. Okay, so x is 2, therefore that is 2 minus 2 times 3, so minus 6 equals, does that equal minus 4? 2 take away 6, it does equal minus 4, therefore both my values are correct. I want you to copy this example uh, out before you move on to the main task. Okay, and now I want you to have a go at these on your own. The red section is a recap from the previous lesson. Okay, so the coefficients are the same. If you're in set 4, I only want you to do 1 or 2 from the red section, then move on to amber and green. If you're in set 5, I want you to spend a bit more time on the red section and then move on to amber and do a few from there. Once you are done, take a picture and upload it onto class charts.